things I wish they had told me about before I had to live them. Um, uh, I went to Washington U in St. Louis. It was in the 1960s. It was, mm -hmm. there was the Civil Rights Movement and there was anti-war movement against the war in Vietnam. And most of us on campus were, um, were against the war. My, certainly all my friends were. And, um, but the context of making a decision is not necessarily the context of your peers. Your peers are important, but um, at least in my case, uh, my father was a powerful personality and I had not yet really shaken the fist at him and separated myself and said, what? This is my life. You got your life. Leave me alone. He was a World War II warrior, and so he was less critical of the war in Vietnam than I would wish him to have been. Um, and I think all he cared about, really, was that I served um, the country as he had served, uh, which I ended up doing. Um, I, for all the influence of my friends, uh, the influence of my dad was much more powerful. And, uh, you know, you just have to look around and see who's powerful in your life and know that, uh, depending on your particular personality, some of us are more subservient than others. Um, I wasn't particularly subservient. Um, but at that time I was to my father and I went in and I knew, um, on the bus ride into Fort Dix from the airplane at three o'clock in the morning, um, as we were being inducted at uh, having been inducted into the military, uh, we, I knew that, um, I had done what my father wanted, but not particularly what I wanted. Now, I carried on for almost three years and uh, became an officer and, um, you know, Ranger, Airborne, all that stuff. And, um, and went to Vietnam for a year. The, and I was eventually discharged honorably. So I did what I had pledged to do, but it wasn't really my pledge in the sense that I didn't really want to do it. Um, uh, now, whether I would have gone to Canada or just refused, I don't know. Uh, but at the time I was still going to do what my dad said, but I realized almost immediately that it had been my decision and not his, and that he had been more influenced than he should have been. So um, all of us, at least for males, I think, uh, we have to at some point uh, separate ourselves from our parent or parents. Um, I don't know how it is for people with uh, a single parent. Um, I had two parents. My dad was powerful. Actually, my mother was too, but we didn't realize it because my dad was <laughs> such a personality. Um, and when he died, which he did very early, um, he, uh, my mother sort of blossomed. Um, she was there all the time. We just, you know, it's, what you notice. I grew up in a um, sort of Irish-German household my, and uh, my we would argue at the dinner table. And the arguing was, you know, fun. One, some, one of us would take one side, one of us would take the other. We'd argue, argue, argue. And then my mother would end it by saying, Russ, meaning my father, um, we're all going to get ulcers. Well, of course, there wasn't an ulcer in the bunch because we'd burned up all the anxieties of the day by arguing about whatever was going on. And, 
you know, the world is a buzzing place, always something going on. Um, but I guess what I want to leave you with is, is um, you know, when it's an important decision, it needs to be your decision, and you need to understand the influence of other people on you, and uh, your sense of dependence or independence is vital to making a good decision for you. Anyway. <laughs>